there was something awfully appropriate about the fact that Michelle Obama's official for posterity portrait by the painter Amy Sherald was unveiled smack in the middle of the New York shows. In it, the former first lady and great champion of the American fashion industry is depicted in a thinker-like pose while wearing a halter neck evening gown in a geometric print by the designer Michelle Smith, founder of the accessible luxury line Millie.Millie. The times they are a change in dot during her tenure in the White House, Mrs. Obama was known for wearing clothes from approximately 90% of the names on the Fashion Week schedule from up-and-coming designers to the tentpole brands of the industry, providing all of them with an enormous boost to their name recognition. This choice was fully in line with that legacy. She had always treated the most formal outfit with a certain throwaway ease, and had no truck with traditional hierarchies. They are breaking down nonetheless. New York fashion is suffering some sort of identity crisis and not just because designers are decamping for foreign shores, that's the easy excuse, or making movies instead of shows, get ready for months, but because it's in the midst of generational shift both internally, with founders of a certain age preparing to hand over power, and externally, when it comes to what the customer may want. Athleisure? Streetwear? Gender fluidity? Ball gowns? All of the above?